Okay, um, well, that's running you through a bit of our equipment that we've got at Foal. Um, oh, in the corner here, we've got an old 3M24 track tape machine, which doesn't unfortunately get used anymore these days. Bands don't have the time or the money to spend on, on the two inch tape. But here we have the two Radar 24s, which um, we still use not to track to anymore, but I use them purely for the HD conversion, um, which all goes to the Pro Tools. Here we've got some you know, nice uh, sort of studio gear, some, you know, Lexicon and the URI, which I bought on eBay the other day, which is very nice. Over here, we've got our Pro Tools rig. Uh, it's a HD3 XL system on a G4. Um, and then, obviously, everything goes into both ways, our amazing Trident ATB uh, console, which has been in the studio for probably about 10 years now. And uh, it's great, great prees, great EQ, not a lot of uh, faffing around, but it just does everything you'd want it to do. Monitoring wise, got the Genelec, and um, we've actually got 5.1 set up here, but we don't have it set up most of the time. And uh, there's a sub under there, and also the NS10s as well, which, um, you know, which are cool. The, the big old JBLs on the wall, they kind of look cool, but they don't really do an awful lot of playing these days. But um, yeah, we've got pretty much most of the monitoring sort of covered, really. Yeah, there we go. I'd say that's about it, really. We are in uh, in the sort of live room area of the, well, it's actually the dead room of a uh, full studio. The control room is just up there through that window. Um, here we've got, you know, a reasonable size sort of uh, area for, but you know, if a band wants to to be able to play all together live. Um, she's got an upright piano here and a lovely old C3 Hammond there um, with the Leslie and everything. Uh, a few other amps and bits and pieces dotted around. Um, this room is quite a sort of dead sounding room. It's um, even though it's bigger than the other room, but uh, it's you know good good isolation between your amps. You know if you have a load of amps blaring away and you can close mic them and you don't get any spill particularly. Um, and we go through here. Uh, so this is where normally we do most of drums and other other sort of instruments that require like more of an amp, live ambience. Um, Stonehenge on the back, which uh, is another bit of adds the kind of hippie vibe of the place, the original hippie vibe. But uh, it's quite a lively sounding room. Um, drums just sound fantastic in here, really. Um, sometimes I like to, right? Well, generally, always put this microphone up in in the air to get a bit of of this room as well to you know mix that in with the um, with with the the. Sort of the close mics and overheads and that sort of stuff um, but if I want even more ambience then sometimes I'll put a sort of stereo pair or mid-side uh, sort of, you know uh, mics out here kind of directly in front of the drummer um, to get a bit more room and as it doesn't as I said this because this room is a bit dead it doesn't really have that much character on its own in this room but it seems to add an extra sort of distance to the room sound that's already from over there. Um, obviously if I'm, if I'm doing that I can't have amps and things like that in here so what I will tend to do is put the amplifiers maybe in the corridor down there, um, close the doors so for you know for guide tracks because the sound is not too great down there but it's good for the band still can play together live so I can have a whole band in here playing room mics out here to get a great drum sound. Um, but it doesn't interfere on the, the actual the spill is you know minimal if if it, if there's any and uh, yeah it's kind of it's kind of about it really we've got you know as I said some really great bits of backline not masses but what we have got is really good and you can always get good sounds with you know the sound particular great amp it's one of my favourites uh, it's actually mine as well but um, yeah um, we've got house house kit as well which is a you know a nice Mapex kit. It's good, and um, yeah, we've got between Dave and I, we've got some nice guitars and basses and stuff like that as well. Um, that's Dave, he's a bass player from bands like Hawkwind and I'm on Duel Two as well. If, uh, if you've ever heard of them, a classic band from late sixties in Germany, they're a great band. But um, yeah, got some yeah, nice bits of stuff. But yeah, there we go. That's it.